we're driving. We're a couple hours into our drive, getting Buddy to his new people. Anyway, I thought I'd show you how pretty this is. It's just gorgeous. This is Northern California. It's very pretty. And it's a beautiful day, huh, honey? Yeah. Everywhere's underwater, though. Yeah, lots of water. Crazy. Crazy. And still snow here. Um, snow over to my left, but anyway, I thought I'd... We showed you the sides of the road. Some places, pine trees are in standing water everywhere. Yeah. yeah. California and Nevada's got, got hit pretty hard with all kinds of stuff. So, anyway... Enjoying a nice, easy drive. No inclement weather. Just pretty, yeah, there's water there. Wow. Beautiful day. Yeah, it's a very nice day. It's beautiful here. Very pretty. And our buddy's in the back just sleeping, being, yeah. a, being a good boy. He's a good boy. We're going to miss him. Yeah. But he's going to have a nine year old. What more could a dog want? And I'll make sure, I'll try to video, you know, when we meet up with them. We've got a, how many hours left? We're only two hours in. take a walk and go potty multiple times and we could take a potty break anyways really nice rest area okay so we just whip it right back out anyway okay so good boy and he got a drink hey buddy yeah he's a good boy yes he is yeah he's a good travel buddy yeah Anyway, so, Way mellower than our dogs. Oh, well, ours would be just driving us crazy <laughs> right about now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be a, a definite different ride. No, he was asking me, are we going to bring Ragnar? No. Actually, Ragnar is a pretty good rider once he gets settled in. Yeah. I wanted to take him. But oh well. Yeah, but we don't need to. I just... We haven't spent much, I haven't spent much time with the dogs lately, so. No. No, busy going back and forth, moving around dad's stuff. Yeah. Uh, working. And work. Working work, 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 and working. Work, 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 work. <laughs> Okay, all clear. Good. Hopefully we don't get behind that semi again. <laughs> yeah. I think we were fast enough, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, this whole four cylinder moving. <laughs> I know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. The hamsters aren't. Maybe we didn't feed them <laughs> enough this morning. <laughs> it goes pretty good, though. Yeah. It's a car. Yeah. I don't have a very big car. Yeah, well, um, we'll have to work on that. Yeah. You need to buy me a nice new car. <laughs> Not new. I would never buy a new car. New to us would be fun. We just need enough room for. Lifted Jeep or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, like Whitney's. I, <laughs> she, yeah, I could barely yeah. get in that thing. But she was gonna get the step thing that comes down when you open the door or something. I don't know. And I was like, today, you're doing that today, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Grandma a ladder. <laughs> yeah. I need a ladder getting in our truck. It's just as bad. Her Jeep's as high as our truck is. Yeah. So, anyways, but they're bringing 
They're bringing their truck. The Dodge. Oh, the water? Oh, we'll have to switch it to the other side. You can't switch it in mid, mid thingy for some reason. We wanted to show you the water, but we're right past it. So. Alright, so we're on, back on the road. On the road again. Same <laughs> No. <laughs> Sing it. <laughs> coming down this mountain road and straight up ahead is that beautiful white mountain. It's absolutely stunning. Come on, honey. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. We had to take a break and sing it on the road again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably going to get a better view here. Up here. Hold on. Okay, so... This is our view. I mean, this has just been a beautiful ride so far. Coming around these mountain roads. It's like we're on a roller coaster. <laughs> Windy roads. But very pretty. And cold outside, just let, to let you know. It's chilly. There's still snow on the ground. Um, oh, it was chilly when we stopped anyways. We went past a campground and there was a ton of people camping, huh? Yeah. So. Yeah, must have been a cold night. Yeah. Burr, burr. Burr. We did see a couple deer, but I, I wasn't fast enough to get the camera on. One of them was standing right in the middle of the road. Well, that's because you were honking the horn, honey. I was busy honking the horn. I don't want to hit him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is our drive. We're getting closer. Okay, here she comes. Look at that. Woo! Is that beautiful or what? I'm sure this video doesn't do it justice, but that's pretty glorious from my view. walls of trees and then bam there's Mount Shasta. <laughs> it's beautiful. I think we're gonna stop and get gas here pretty quick. Fall off that, and you're done. Yeah. 
guys we're here we just had breakfast with Whitney and Ray and JD and look what my daughter brought me I know some of you remember we went um, vintage shopping and, and I saw this old pressure canner and my daughter brought it to me it made me cry <laughs> and for my birthday and a card birthday card very funny card <laughs> anyways I'm gonna show you how Buddy just loves JD and Ray and Whitney, so I'm gonna show you here. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> little photo opportunity there. Oh, he says I like these guys. <laughs> oh. Love it. Oh. <laughs> She's like, whoop. Nope. Where do you, what do you think? Probably in the shade would be better. Here, I'll hold him while you take your sweatshirt. Here. There's no place to hook it up, honey. You're going to have to hand him off. There you go. JD's hot too. Ooh, naked. <laughs> ah. I gotta fold this thing up. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, he gets to play frizz. Good boy. <laughs> I like that frisbee. He folded it. Not towards the road, JD. Water. That way. Okay, take two. <laughs> Last take wasn't very good. I was a little emotional. So, um, we had lunch or breakfast. Um, I had a salad. Everybody else had breakfast. And we... Um, there was a vacant, big, huge, vacant area, so we took Buddy over there and and uh, played Frisbee with him, and JD got to play Frisbee with him, and he just is such a good dog. You can just take him off leash, and he doesn't go anywhere. Anyways, and Ray and Whitney got to play with him, and went back and let him cool down, give him some water, and he loaded right up in the truck, like, okay, I'll go, I'll go in this rig. Got in his bed, and off they went, so we're getting gas and then we're going to what's wrong Let's get my cup. oh I'll meet you over there okay um getting gas and we're gonna go to this little store and grab a cup of coffee and then we'll be on the road again mm. anyways it's hard I don't know how dogs just they just attach themselves to me in a, a very short period of time. We only had him a little over a week, and I just get too attached. But I guess that's not a bad trait, anyhow. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in the store here too. So, <sighs> yeah, he's got a great home, so I'm, I'm okay. Anyways. Okay, guys, <laughs> and one of you contacted Whitney, <laughs> even though I guess she'd already bought the canner, but you guys are great. I love all of you. Be back. Slow down, it says. <laughs> Yikes. Over and up. Uh, work zone. That's why. You finding directions? Yeah. Got it? Okay. Yeah, need to take 89. Uh, couldn't ask for a prettier 
day. Yeah. That it's just beautiful. All right, we're gonna drop down, back down into the trees once we hit on 89. And then, oh yeah, we've got construction a little bit. It's all right. It's all good. At least we're on our way. Okay, guys, we're home and. I've already fed the dogs. We got home a little after 4.30. So not too bad, a nine and a half hour drive there and back, I think, nine and a half, yeah. Anyway, it's all good. So now I get to do my evening chores and a lot of you were commenting on, you know, how does the chicken come out? Um, some of you are having trouble getting your husband on board. You make chicken and dumplings with this, he'll be on board. Looking at this, it looks a lot like a, ch a science experiment, but chicken legs are fantastic. And the broth, it, it, it lost a little bit in the canning process, but I know what's left behind is the flavor. So there's a little bit of fat, that's all normal. And you're gonna lose some, even if I hadn't added water, you still lose some in the canner. That's just the nature of canning meats, I think. Um, so I've gotta get those 11 jars, 11 quart jars, all of them sealed. Now these were lids that came with the rings and so um, I, I went ahead and used them. I'm not gonna use my new ones until I don't have other ones. I've gotta do dishes. I really need to upload my video from yesterday so we don't get out of whack because there's a lot of important stuff in there, <laughs> including on how to can that. Um, so we are home, I gotta make coffee. Dinner, thankfully, is already done from a jar of canned chicken legs that I had from last year. And I believe I put that casserole, it's out in the garage refrigerator, but I made a casserole for last night. It was delicious. And so that's what's going on. Oh, look at, look at, look at, Whitney was, <laughs> it made me cry between the card and this. Um, and it's just sentimental. I, I'm probably not gonna use it. Although, next time I go to True Value, I will have them check the gauge and see um, if, it's, if it needs help. I just had this open. It's hard to do with one hand. Anyways, it's got the instruction book, the racks, everything. Here, hold on. Okay, so there's the original um, instruction book. Actually, thicker than our books. Um, and we all think that this came from the, the 40s. I like this rack. I think because I can I can use this in the water bath canner as well. But then look at the other rack that comes in here. Isn't that cool? Very nice and better made than our stuff. So I'll probably soak this. It feels the finish feels fine, but I'll probably soak it in vinegar. And it smells musty, like it's been closed up, you know. But it's got the weight on it, and um, I could convert this, I, I believe I could convert that to a weighted gauge, but or a weight, you know, like I've got on my other canners, but I'm not sure. I'll ask him at true value. Maybe one of you guys know. Anyways, um, it's got the release safety valve right in the center, okay? And so when that pops up, that valve pops up, and you just, as long as your gauge works, you're good to go. And the, the um, gasket, it does take a gasket, but kind of fun to have that in my collection. So I think I'm gonna set it over with some of my cast iron collection, just cause I like old things. And, and um, anyways, so the day that she went, and it wasn't expensive in the first place, it was $25, but I, I couldn't bring it back on the plane. And I was like, oh, I don't need this. I don't, I don't need it. I just wanted it. And um, sure enough, the day that she went back to get it, uh, it was $5 off, so off the original price. So apparently people don't see any value in that, but I do, I do, and I appreciate it, and I loved it. So we got a really cute video of Buddy playing Frisbee on Michael's phone. I'm gonna try to include it in this video, but if I can't, know that he absolutely loves, loves, loves his new people. In fact, he pretty much said, see ya. <laughs> After, he's like, I got a nine-year-old and a guy that loves me and a cute girl. 
<laughs> anyway, he was pretty happy. She sent me a few pictures of him in the car ride, and he's just right hanging out, going, I have my three new people here. Anyway, so he's in a good place. Now, I, I'm anxious to hear how he does with Roxy. All right, I gotta get these dishes done and coffee made, so I'll be back and wash those jars. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, look at between that canning session, I get, feel pretty accomplished. That canning and all these canned black beans and tomato soup, and that's a pretty good little weekend of prepping and homesteading. So there, and I've done this forever and ever and ever. It's really nothing new to me. Um, I know a lot of you struggle. Either you're scared to pressure can or you're scared to start doing it because you might do something wrong. And I just think there's so much information out there. Not that you should take information off of YouTube. Use it as an example of, you know, what the, maybe the application, you know, or the actual um, thing looks like being done. But get your resources. You can go online and get resources for safe canning and it's easy. Or go can with somebody that already does it and they'll show you how. And make sure they're doing it right. Have your book out and go, um, excuse me. <laughs> All right. Okay. So guys, I'm ready. I'm ready for bed. I think Michael is too. It's only nine o'clock. But we didn't get to bed till really late because of him going to get stuff at his dad's and then having to it was just a late night last night and then getting up really early and driving nine hours and I got to drive the whole way which I think Michael enjoyed I don't know that I want to do that again but oh okay so buddy's settling in just fine my daughter just sent me a picture I'll try to post a couple of pictures at the end um she just sent me a picture but he's in the on jd's bed and jd's there reading oh i just love it a nine-year-old has to have a good dog it's just something you have to have i'm sorry anyway um so it was a big day i got all my jars put away and I counted up what I rotate through my extended pantry. And so, uh, cause I know a lot of you ask that. It's about 350 jars a year. And some jars stay longer than a year. Some jars don't stay even six months, but that's the rotation. So it's a, I think it's a good rotation for two people. And then, um, yeah, and I don't just put it back there and not use it. We use it all the time. Anyway, so for those of you that were curious, that's how I do it. That's the storage room we have. Um, I could do more, but I think that it would be overkill, and I think that we would waste more. Uh, we used to do about 500, and I think I ended up wasting some stuff that I was sorry about, and I said, okay, I'm going to downsize get it a manageable amount, and I think that's pretty close to what we need. So tomorrow, uh, thankfully it's my day off, but it's not gonna be a day off, trust me. I've gotta go to the beauty supply, I've gotta do some stuff for Michael, I need to weed eat the backyard, and um, let's see, what else? I think there's a couple other things on my agenda. Oh, I, I might have to make some soup for Dad, and, um, I want to do a cream of mushroom soup. He really likes that. I need to get a way to put some protein in his diet and on the stuff I bring him because I don't think he's getting enough protein. But anyway, so guys, I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for commenting. Thank you for supporting my channel in every way that you do, no matter if it's a comment, a like, um, encouraging words. I so appreciate it. And so do my puppy doos. They want in. My puppy doos want in. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're all gonna want, they're all gonna come in here. You guys. Mm. <laughs> it was a big day in the neighborhood, even though they didn't really, they thought we were at work. Who's coming in? They're starting to boost. Is that it? 
Look out there. Oh, the sprinklers are going. That's it, I guess. Hello? <laughs> okay, so we'll see you tomorrow for another um, vlog. And I'll bring you along for, oh, there's one. That was Sage. <laughs> and I'll bring you along for another vlog. All right, guys. Mwah. Thanks for sharing and being here for me.